Hi, this is Happy Bird from HappyBirdsCraftingHaven.com and today I'm going to show you some beautiful little boxes that I made and these boxes are no shed glitter and I'll show you how I did that. Um, these are just little plain little boxes to put jewelry in and I thought about gift cards but um, this size box is a little too small for your average gift card so I think I'm going to look online for larger boxes and make some of those. I made this with a red glitter and these are acrylic rhinestone buttons and I purchased most of these um, from eBay, from sellers on eBay and here's a purple one and <clears throat> I purchased just the plain craft boxes. I think this one was uh, about three and a quarter long by three and a quarter high and as you can see I started to um, paint it a little bit with my pens and I'll show you exactly how I did this box and how I made it shed free glitter See. no glitter and I have a very good seller that I used um, to purchase these boxes from and I'll make sure to put the seller's link down below in the drop down bar as well as on my blog at happybirdscraftinghaven.com so um, be sure and check for it. I think they have a discount this week. I was looking at their um, store, their eBay store and it said 15% off and the shipping is free which is great and you can buy them in um, sets of 6, 12, 20, 30 so that's kinda nice as well okay <clears throat> now first thing I'm going to do is um, I'm going to show you how to make the box from beginning to end and this is the box we're going to decorate because um, I made this up ahead of time because obviously I can't wait for the glitter to dry so <laughs> um, now you can actually you're going to use the same color pen as um, as the glitter you want to use for the top okay now I purchased to make the silver and the gold boxes I used the 18 karat gold leafing pen by Krylon and the silver um, leafing pen by Krylon as well and these are I think about four years old now and they're still working really well um, I think uh, at the time that I purchased these these were about ten dollars a piece but um, I went in with my coupon at Michaels and got them for half that and you can also you don't have to use the leafing pens there are a lot of paint pens out there in pretty metallic silvers and golds. I just happen to like um, the, the Krylon brand here. Okay, um, now not all uh, boxes did I use that on. Um, this box here I used just a, a red Sharpie pen all the way around. And I just put a thin coat of gloss on it afterwards. And same with this box. I just used a um, purple Sharpie pen and colored that in. So the gold and the silver were the only two boxes that I used the uh, metallic uh, pens, uh, leafing pens. And I purchased most of these acrylic buttons from different sellers on eBay and uh, most of them were from China. Um, However, you can, if you don't want to do that, you can make your own versions of acrylic buttons, and I'll show you how to do that. I just happened to find, see, here's another example. These are all acrylic. And what I do is I just turn them over and cut the shank off with, um, you know, cheap Dollar Tree wire cutters and I just you know cut it as close as I can and um, you know put these on the box so okay 
Now, um, you can also, I did this on plastic so I could peel this off afterwards. If you um, don't have access to these acrylic buttons and you can't order them from eBay because of where you live, you can certainly make your own. These are just recollection flat back bling and um, I used a large one in the middle and some smaller ones on the outside. And like I said, I just stuck this on plastic so I could peel it off afterwards. Um, but, you know, you can put that on your box. And, uh, you know, that would look pretty. You can also go to, you know, places like uh, Walmart. They've got the cheap acrylic buttons. They sell for, uh, well, these, they had them in like an antique gold and a silver. There was two of them on a card, I think for like $1.47, something like that. And you can cut the shank off the back of that with your wire cutters. And then maybe do something like um, put a piece of bling Put a piece of bling in the middle with um, some E6000 or Amazing Goop. And you can use this on your box. That's kind of a, a cheaper way of doing it. And it's pretty effective. So there's a lot of different ways that you can um, make the little blingy buttons if you don't have access to the acrylic ones, like I said, you know, on eBay, and um, <clears throat> Etsy has a lot of acrylic rhinestone buttons as well. In fact, that's where I purchased these purple ones that I showed you. Okay, so I took a lot of time, I know, telling you about that. Um, so I'm going to show you how I did the box. Now, like I said, you want to paint the, the top sides of the box the same color as you plan on using uh, your glitter. It just looks better. Trust me on that because I did a lot of experimenting too. And um, so I'm going to take my gold leafing pen, shake it up. And the top part, if you noticed, I kind of um, drew just a little edge to it on the top. And the reason why I did that is because when I put the glitter on, if the glitter um, doesn't go exactly out to the side, you're not going to notice it. See this? You're not going to notice it a whole lot because it's the same color. And... We're just going to go around and just color this. Like so. Make sure you have everything. And I just ran a pan along this part underneath. That's all of the coloring that I did there. And Okay. And so we have all four sides colored there. Okay. And so the next thing I did was, um, took some Aileen's Turbo Tacky Glue. Make sure it's turbo. Makes a, a big difference. And I'm going to put quite a bit on the top. I 
like so. See, I'm not shy with it. That's because we want to get every little corner. And I start by just kind of um, working the edges. I want to get it as close as I can. And see, I even put it over the paint that um, I drew around the edges here at the top. That's fine to do that. Because you want it nice and thick, but you don't want it to run over the edges. You want it to stay on the top. You want to make sure you have every corner. Make sure there's no glue on the side. I don't see any glue here on the side. Looks pretty good. So, um, get my Kleenex and wipe the glue off my finger. And <clears throat> Walmart has some pretty good prices. On glitter. I just bought the small tube here for 92 cents and I like the glitter that's rounded. I don't know if you can see that in there but when I pour it you can. I'm sure. It's kind of a circular glitter and I really think this gives a nice shine. I'm not worried about how much I'm pouring over it because all that's going to go back into this tube and I think you can get about eight boxes out of this tube. Okay, so um, if you look up close here, you can see their little tiny circular shaped glitter. That's the type I really like. Alright, so I'm just going to set this down here. I'm going to take my finger and I'm going to go up and down, up and down, up and down. I'm not going to rub it, I'm just going to go up and down, up and down, make sure. Do that all the way across. Now I'm not going to shake this glitter off. I'm simply just going to turn it like this upside down and I'm not going to be wiping the glitter like this. I'm going to be doing this with my finger to kind of push the glitter in a little bit. Um, the glitter that's kind of hanging over the edge. and it'll look really nice. So I'm going to let this dry for a full 24 hours. I want to make sure that it's it's nice and dry. Now once that 24 hour period is up, I'm going to show you what you'll need to do next. Let me move this glitter out of the way and pour it in the tube, back in the tube here. Um, you can also do this on a paper plate, but I just did this over a Ziploc baggie. Okay. I'll have to do the rest of this later. I'll set this aside for now. Okay, so <clears throat> after this is thoroughly dry for 24 full hours, you're going to come in with the Mod Podge Super Gloss. It's a one coat gloss finish. This is not the Mod Podge that is like glue that comes with an orange label. This is a blue label and it's a one coat gloss finish. Okay, so this is different. It's very important. Um, that you know the difference. And I just use this little e.l.f. Uh, contouring brush. Got this at the Dollar Tree for a dollar. Because the bristles are fine and they're soft. And this cleans off so easily. Just with water. Um, I would not dip your brush in here and then coat it like this because you're going to get a bunch of glitter inside here. I usually take a little Dixie cup or something like that and just put a little tiny amount inside the Dixie cup. And you're just going to make um, a thin coat 
and that's all it needs is a thin coat and just make even stripes like this okay and when you're finished you can actually dip your finger in the gloss and run your finger to make a very thin coat of gloss all the way around like so okay so um, it's actually very easy I'm I finished this box right here and I did everything that I just told you put a thin coat here and um, it's no shed well this I had glitter on my hands from before so maybe I should <laughs> take that off first to show you see no glitter no glitter okay. and um, so for these boxes, if you wanted to, I you know I suppose you could do the bottom half too. I wanted to decorate it, but I kind of wanted to give it a um, like a blue jeans and diamond type look. Yeah. So I used the little self adhesive recollections trim here that I found at Michael's in the um, you know the scrapbooking sticker section where all the recollection stuff is. This is by Recollections, or I, I cut it. And this is self-adhesive trim. Did that around the bottom there. And did this like that. And um, so with this one, I cut some gold trim. So I'm going to do that first. And this is Recollections as well. And I just want to make it even, like so. And I'm going to follow this all the way around. Don't know how I did that, but I got way too much. I'll have to cut that. That's what I get for cutting in the dark. <laughs> That's kind of what I was doing early this morning. I was trying to be quiet, not waking up everybody else in the household, so I didn't have my lights on except my computer lights. Okay. And don't press it down until you have it exactly where you want it. All right. Yeah. I might need to cut a little and put it right there. <clears throat> Let's see what I, I have to do after I put this on. even as possible. sure why this is lacking on one end I'm 
here with the rhinestone, but I'm going to fix it by putting one more little piece right here. There. Okay, perfect. So we have this all the way around, like so. See? Isn't that nice? Okay, so the top, um, these are some buttons that I purchased from some sellers in China. They always have such good deals. You can pick up buttons, you know, three for five ninety nine or whatever, you know, on eBay. And always type in the words um, acrylic rhinestone buttons and then you'll get quite a few things pop up. Now I use flat back rhinestones and buttons on these. Um, for this one, I figured I would just glue buttons maybe diagonally, like so. I thought that might be kind of nice. Now, <clears throat> I would highly suggest when you glue these on to either use E6000 or Amazing Goop. And I'm going to put some Amazing Goop on my buttons today. Uh, most of the buttons have shanks on them, but some don't. Like this one here. came without a shank, but they still advertise these as buttons because they're meant to be used in craft projects. These are some little pearls. See this one came without a shank. Yeah, And these will hold very tightly, very tightly. Okay. So now I'm going to put the cap back on. Like that. And like I said, I'll put the link to the seller's name um, and um, her store on eBay. And um, when you click on the person's um, link, and it opens up on the left hand side at the top there's a little search bar for her store just type in the words craft boxes and spell craft k-r-a-f-t and you'll see all kinds of boxes pop up and like I said it's free shipping which is nice too so um, I hope you enjoyed this video I had a lot of fun making these boxes and I think this would be really nice to give somebody, you know, a little jewelry gift in, or um, if you have, uh, if you're wanting to give money or something like that, you can put that in there. And like I said, if you're wanting to use this for gift cards, you're going to have to order a box that's a little larger because this isn't quite large enough for your average gift card. Um, but if you look on the seller's website that I'm giving you. I know that there's um, larger boxes on that site. So, um, that's about it. And let me give you a little bit of a close-up on these boxes. And they really do sparkle. One thing I noticed is at times it's difficult to pick up the real sparkle of these um, boxes when you are filming something on camera for some reason. I don't know why that is. So I hope you can see it. Okay. That's it for now. Thank you so much for watching this video and for watching all my videos. I really appreciate each and every one of you. 
You take care and God bless you all. Bye-bye.